Alright, so this is an unboxing for the Acer V5 Touch. This is a touch screen laptop and this is what it, the box looks like. Now this has Windows 8 64-bit operating system, Intel Core i3, it has a 15.6 inch multi-touch HD Acer Sin Crystal LCD. <clears throat> it has the basic H Intel HD Graphics 3000, 4 gigs of DDR3 memory, <clears throat> 500 gigabyte hard drive, DVD Super Multi Double Layered Drive. It has 802.11a G and N, Bluetooth 4.0, and it has a Crystal Eye HD webcam and a 4 cell lithium ion battery and it does come with a Microsoft Office trial alright so let's open this bad boy up <clears throat> alright so you're presented with some just product information about how to use the touch display, um, VGA port, all the various information. <clears throat> it's like it comes with a power cable. This is an interesting um, cable. This is a uh, special jack on the laptop that goes to a VGA and Ethernet cable. So I'm guessing they're thinking that most likely you're going to use your Wi-Fi option and if you need this, use it. But if you lose this, you're in big trouble. Power adapter. And your battery. Now this battery is really thin and tiny. It's only a four cell battery. I guarantee you the way this is going to last, it's not going to last that long. So you may want to buy an extended battery or <clears throat> to keep these batteries to last longer, my advice is to never ever use the laptop while you're charging it. I know there's manufacturers out there that tell you to leave it always charged in or plugged in, but by leaving it plugged in, you're not actually exercising the cells inside the battery and that'll kill the battery. So if you want to keep the battery um, fresh and use, useful for years to come always always take it off the charger use it let it go all the way down then charge it back up all right <clears throat> underneath the laptop It looks like there's the quick start guide. And that's about it. Alright, so here's the laptop. Alright. Not bad. <clears throat> so this is where the battery would go, back here. This is the back. Relatively easy. This is like, I guess, the compartment for your memory. You have a DVD drive right here. Now oh, in Kensington lock. You have your uh, <clears throat> power jack. That special adapter for the uh, Ethernet and your monitor port. You do have an HDMI port. One USB 3.0 port and two USB 2.0 and your headphone and mic. Looks like you do get an SD card slot here. Looks like SD card and multimedia, so. Okay, and hard drive indicators and on indicators, I guess charging indicators. Alright, so let's attach the battery and power this baby up.
Looks like they give you a nice cloth to uh, clean your touch screen display. That's always nice. Alright, so here it is. And that's part of the product stuff. Nice keyboard. i3 logo. Pretty nice. And here's the power button right here. Does have an illuminated keyboard, which is really nice. The letters do not. The letters do light up, so the letters light up along with the outside edges. All right, so now it's booted up. Just letting you know that this monitor supports ten points of multi-touch, so you can, you know, you can swipe up, down, this way, and do this. Go back. Go to the desktop. Um, if you wanted to uh, go back to the Windows 8, go to Internet Explorer. It's amazing. The touch on a laptop or any screen for Windows 8 makes much more sense compared to a desktop that doesn't have touch. Let me move the camera up a little bit. So you can swipe down, swipe up. Yeah. So it's pretty nice. Um, the touch screen is really responsive. The um, internet's really um, the internet connection's solid. Uh, the laptop's relatively light. I mean, it's not it's not totally like really heavy, but I mean, if you want a really really light notebook, you might want to look at the Ultra notebooks. Um, the Ultra books are a lot thinner, lighter, faster because they do not have they kind of take away a lot of the options that you would get with a full 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 featured laptop like this. But if someone's looking for a a decent touch screen. This one's not bad. This one was actually $599. So it really is not a bad deal considering that you have a big touch screen like this. So this is um, just an unboxing of the Acer. The uh, model number is Acer Aspire V5. Thanks for watching.